Translation is the process of reading the messenger RNA and translating that information into protein, and this is orchestrated by the ribosomes. A very, a very important component of translation, or the most important thing of translation, is how the RNA is coding for its particular amino acid. So we have we have 21 amino acids, and each of those amino acids has a particular sequence that codes for them, and sometimes they will have more than one sequence. So for example, here we have four possible nucleotide combinations that code for one amino acid. But what is important is each sequence only codes for one particular amino acid. So you might have multiple sequences coding for one amino acid, but at no point multiple sequences or a sequence have multiple meanings. So this is to say you can have different synonyms or ways to code for one amino acid, but the meaning of each sequence is unequivocal. So this is what they say. The code is degenerate. So you can use any one of these four sequences and have the same resulting amino acid. And some sequences, instead of coding for amino acid, they code for stop signals. So these are the ones that say, where is the peptide chain going to stop? Or when does translation stop? So although the ribosome is the one orchestrating the reading of the messenger RNA, it is really the tRNA or the transfer RNA, the one that matches the, the sequence on the RNA with a particular amino acid. So this tRNA has also a three nucleotide sequence that is complementary to that of the messenger RNA. And it will match these three nucleotides to that of the RNA and match that with the corresponding amino acid. So the transfer RNA has the complementary three nucleotides that would read the, the messenger RNA in groups of three, and it has the acceptor end where it will bind to the a specific amino acid that uh, is coded by that sequence. So this tRNA is the one that really is matching each amino acid to the three nucleotide sequence in the messenger RNA. And each transfer RNA is matched to its, to its amino acid by this enzyme, aminosyl tRNA synthetase. So this, this enzyme matches the tRNA to the particular amino acid and joins them together. So this is also highly specific and this is an important part of, of um, the translation process and keeping, keeping the meaning of this anticodon match to the particular amino acid. To start transcription, the ribosome, which is composed from a large subunit and a small subunit, finds the 5' prime end of the messenger RNA and binds to it, and then starts bringing in the transfer RNA into the interior of the ribosome. So the ribosome has two, three main sites, the site where the enter the new tRNA enters, the P side, which is where the peptide form, bom, uh, forms, and the exit side, which is once the tRNA has already transferred its amino acid and it's ready for exit. So here we have the two transfer RNAs, and the exit side here is empty. Zooming in, we have the first amino acid that was added to the peptide chain. This this tRNA started in the first position and now has moved to the second position. And the, the new uh, incoming amino, uh, tRNA, the amino acid that it has, is now going to form a peptide bond with the initial amino acid present. So once we have this peptide bond form, now we have a two amino acid sequence and now this tRNA is empty because it already transferred its amino acid. So as you can see here, the growing peptide chain is growing from the amino terminus to the carboxyl terminus. So every new amino acid is being added to the carboxyl side. And this cycle will repeat many times for as long as as many peptides as the protein has. Every time um, with a new Amino, uh, a new T 
RNA coming into the A site together with an elongation factor. So this promotes the elongation of the amino acid chain. It comes in into the A site and then the peptide bond will be catalyzed. So here we catalyze the peptide bond and the elongation factor gets recycled and now the tRNA moves into the next position and the one that just transfers amino acid now exits and so this this cycle repeats for every amino acid in the peptide chain and that process will continue until you reach the three nucleotide sequence that codes for a stop codon so that there is no tRNA complementary to that stop codon instead there is a release factor that is complementary to that and it would read that stop codon and then signal the dissociation of the ribosome. So once that, that uh, release factor is there, the ribosome, uh, the large subunit, will dissociate from the small subunit and translation will stop.